Hello YouTube, this is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add modding support to your game. Yes, modding support. Now, um, this is just sort of the most basic uh, type of modding support. So, um, this will be using libload, which is a Python class, and that will allow users to put a blend file into a folder and it will load up in your game. This is the simplistic version. I will probably make a more uh, advanced version later on that actually can add in multiple objects, um, multiple mods all at once. So the first thing I'm going to do is I moved the uh, cube over. I'm going to do Shift A and I will add a empty. Next I'm going to switch the bottom viewport into a logic editor. With the empty selected I'm going to add an always sensor and add a Python controller. Next I'm going to uh, create a text editor window by dragging the corner. Create a new text file and this one will be called uh, load mod. So I'm going to turn on line turn on the uh, line numbers and syntax highlighting and then we're going to link that script to the Python controller. So on the first line we're going to do import bge dot logic um, as logic. You don't have to do that last part but um, I do just makes it easier for me to understand. Next we're going to do cont equals logic dot get current controller and next line we do own equals cont dot owner. So then we're going to actually start using uh, libload. So the first thing we need to do is get a path to our blend file that contains the mod. So what we're going to do is um, path equals logic dot expand path. Open parentheses and we're going to type in a quote or an apostrophe double forward slash quote close parentheses. So what this is doing is it's expanding the uh, the path. It's getting a file path from double forward slash which is local to whatever to wherever this blender file is saved. So next what we're going to do is we're going to do file equals open quote and I've already got a file saved so this one will be mod dot blend. So then we will do logic dot libload actually the uh, first L needs capitalized open parentheses and now we type in uh, path plus file so this will um, so this is where the file goes file name comma and then the type of data that we want to import and that would be scene close comma or close uh, close parentheses so then what we're going to do is we're going to import the scene. So we're going to do logic or uh, scene equals logic dot get current scene. On the next line we're going to do scene dot add object open parentheses and so this first one is the object that we want to add which will be scene dot objects inactive which means any objects on the background layer comma and you can you can do the whatever the name of the object is that you have so like for instance I know mine is named mod in the other blend file so I type in mod and then comma and then we the second uh, parameter is the object that we want to use to add. In my case I will be using the empty. So we will load up the file mod.blend 
from the same directory as what our blend file is and we will add in an object mod that is in a background layer on that dot blend. So now I'm going to do save as and I'm going to save this as mod load. Now I will open up that mod file just to show you what is in that. And so the first thing that you'll notice is that nothing is in it. Well, in the first scene anyway. And actually I'm going to delete the lamp as well. That should have been deleted, but it wasn't. Everything is actually on a hidden layer. That is because libload, if you load a scene, it will load up, it will visually show everything that's on the first layer in the scene of the blend you've loaded up. So you put all the objects you want to add into a hidden layer. So here's my object. It is named mod and in the game engine all it does is falls and spins. So we're going to switch to the hidden layer, save this as the mod file, and load up our mod loader. And so whenever we hit play it adds the object and it falls. And we can set pulse mode onto this so that it um, adds it multiple times. If you do this though you're going to want to make an initializer so it only loads up the blend file once. So to do that we're going to do an if statement so if init initialize in if init if init not in own so if the property in it is not in own colon we will do own in it equals one and then we will tab over our logic dot lib load path plus blah 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 so what this will do is say you know if in it is not in own which it isn't because we haven't added that property it will add the property in it to own and set it to one and then it will do the logic lib load so this is a way of making that part of the script only run once so now we hit play and every 60 frames we get another cube loaded in from that other blend file now this is nice because what can we do if we have if we have this I will save this file so if we have this support in our game we can have people make new mods for our game so we just tell them it has to be on a hidden layer and so for instance I can change this to um, I can delete this object I can add in a Suzanne or a monkey okay and as long as I name this the same as what it calls for in my script and I do a file save as if I save this as mod save as blender file if I open up our mod load script now we get a Suzanne okay so that is it for this tutorial that shows you how to add uh, basic mod support for your game Thank you very much for watching.